Well, hello there, person. Lots of fun stuff this week with Wraithbinder. Can't wait to share it with you. Let's get right into it. So, here's some of the biggest things this week. There's a big old new mini-map. Uh, let's check this out. Whoa, look at that. Let's explore the map a little bit. You can see this thing start to evolve. Ooh, watch out for that guy. See, it shows, um, this has also been improved, where all the colors on the map the ground and everything are a lot more distinct. So um, last week I did some color work to get the colors a, a little bit more um, more distinct per per, per player. Um, there's still a little bit more I want to do with the, the actual shader. I can get into the actual shader code and make it really, really sweet. I got this awesome idea to um, offset any colors that were, might be almost that color to make it more like that color and use some color banding to basically, uh, it should make it look a lot um, just more aesthetically pleasing. It'll be a really neat thing to combine to, to combine art aesthetic with uh, programming and shading. So that's gonna be cool. So, but check this out. See how we're, we've, we've explored the map a little bit. Starts to evolve, starts to open up different areas um, and you can see them on all on the map. So um, players, let's get away from another player right there. Other players on the map are represented by their color. So you can see there's a cyan colored player right beneath me. That's Ina. She's level three. And you can see that up, uh, or, uh, yeah, up at the top there. Um, and then, oh, that's, I'm in God mode so I can see all the other players. But this is what it normally looks like, right? You have visibility wherever you have a building that has a visibility for it. So with, that includes statues, uh, guardians, and menders, and wards. So you can build wards, you can build menders, you can build guardians and stuff like that, and you'll be able to see across the map. Also, whenever you kill another player, they turn into a wraith, and you'll be able to have visibility there too. So let's go just debug kill somebody real quick. Cheat, kill him. Where's, what the heck is May doing right there? Oh, because I turned into god mode? Did it turn the bots into god mode too for a minute there? I think I might have done that recently. Anyways, there. Now we have another play on our on our team. And um, and see see how uh, in the bottom right that's me sitting still with the white squares flashing next to me. And then there's another yellow dot, and that's my wraith, May, who's on my team. And you can see that up on the top now pretty clearly too. I'm K Kita, K T O, on the left on top left there. That's and I'm yellow. And then May is also yellow too. She's my wraith. So um, that's pretty neat, right? And that, like, there's a little bit of slight transparency. There's really nice coloring going on. I'm just loving this new mini map. Ooh, that's weird. I saw a re what's that weird rectangle happening right there? Some bugs to be dealt with here. I haven't even seen that before. So check this, let's check this out too. We also have a stats menu. Boom! Look at this. I'm level two. I've got zero kills so far. Deaths. Blah blah blah. But I've got some experience and credits built up so this is neat we, we cycle through these menus too I can cycle to the abilities menu using the L and R buttons on your, your let's actually do that let's crack out crack out this PlayStation controller switch over to this I haven't even tried this yeah so okay if I press the R button yeah sweet I can cycle through my menus within the player so I gotta get out of the menu here boom fight this guy for a second. Oh, he's almost dead. Who got you? See, you know your game's starting to be good when it captures your own attention. I've been working on this game for hours and months and years. How many years now? Two and a half years or something like that I've been working on this game? I mean, pff, it's kind of a long time, but I had to write an engine, right? I had to write a voxel engine to create this all this awesomeness, so that took about a year. Um, yes, oh, and the power animation, I forgot about that too, so when a player, uh, when you kill another player, you do this power animation where you've got this sort of energy coming out of your hands for a second. Something weird happened to the camera. It's not quite aligned as much anymore. I think it might have been because I was in god mode. But sweet, so I've got some kills, right? What's the, what's the stats menu say now? <laughs> Yeah, I got a kill. Sweet. 
And this should carry over to the next match. Actually, let's let's check that out. We're on level five, etc. I've got one kill. Let's just end the match early. Oh, I'm not able to exit this menu. That's another bug. Oh, crashed it? Dang. Oh, I really want to see that. Let's try it again. Let's just get a kill. We'll get a debug kill real quick. And then we'll end the match early. And uh, it should carry over. So your your experience and your level carries over to... to um, until you hit until a single player hits a certain number of kills that's when the basically the match is really ended um so there's sort of the match resets itself there is mine wraith and we, i'm not doing the power animation because it's not loaded yet the bottom right loading screen loading bar shows me that uh, there's still some stuff that's being loaded but anyways okay i have a kill um uh, let's get a little bit of matter points built up there we go, I got one kill and I'm level two. Oops. Okay, come on. Hit the five key, go to this quick victory. And even, so even my kills and experience level, all that kind of stuff should be carried over to this, to this match reset. This is where it shows me how many kills have been, I got, I got one kill there. Without playing a full match. And let's go back to let's reset the world. And let's see what the stats menu says now. It should be correct. Let's see. Yeah, level two, one kill. Okay, it didn't co carry my experience over, though. Credits, steals, everything should be carried over. So I gotta work on that, too. Some issues. But there you have it. That's what's new this week, working on these menus. Um, lots of other bug fixes this week. Actually, there's some really, really important bug fixes. The one that is most important, um, in my humble opinion, well, gosh, it's just such a such a victory because it's been months and months that this bug has been around. But there used, there's a render grid and there's a collision grid going. And they're both 2D grids. And uh, the render grid helps me to see quickly what is at a certain point. So I am a certain, I'm an entity. This little block here is an entity. This statue is an entity. These ground blocks are even entities. And um, at this particular position right here, there's a grid entry that shows me exactly what's at these things, or at this point, and render-wise, also collision-wise. And there was always this bug where it couldn't paint the grid at certain points, and it, um, whether it was a collision or a render. And I finally solved it by basically tracking the exact uh, grid box that it uses to paint the grid every time or move the grid so the really the issue is in moving moving within the grid so there's a quick optimization where it moves within the grid um, it takes an existing uh, box rectangle and basically um, uh, erases it from the parts of the rectangle that are not intersecting on um, their outside of the the new box and then it Paint some within the within the new box. It basically, it's a quick, it's an optimized move within the grid, and that had some issues because it which wasn't using the right, um, always using the right exact uh, boxes. So basically, tracking those within the render component and the collision component solved that bug. And that was huge. It's a really huge thing to finally have a perfectly accurate render system or re, you know grid system going um, because it's just prevents so many bugs. In fact, one of the bugs that was really noticeable from the render grid issue was that occasionally you'd see just p voxels just left behind. Like, what the heck's that? There's a piece of my sword swing that was just left behind over here. That It just didn't look good, because eventually after you play a match for five or ten minutes, you see all these pixels everywhere, voxels going, what, what's, what is that? What's that left over there? That, that shouldn't be there. Um, so that's, uh, that's solved, and that's really great. So... Yeah, so there it is. There's some other bugs too this week. Uh, they got fixed, but really, um, that was that's the main stuff. So this mini map, look at this, so beautiful. Oh, oh, I really do love it. Dang, and being able to see the stats too, that's really important. And then you can also browse your abilities, even if you're not upgrading. Okay, so thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Person?